calibrated, so I don't know. <laughs> Come on. This is a walleye. It's the right species. No, it was on after we'd go on the road. Oh, there's one. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is special because I get to fish a stretch of the Mississippi River for the very first time, and I get to do it with a good friend, Jesse from Team Extreme Fishing. It's late May, and the walleyes are looking to bulk up after a strenuous spawn. We start by trolling shorelines with lead core and crankbaits, keeping the bait in eight to 10 feet of water. We pick up a few fish and start to dial these walleyes in. As we troll, we find the walleyes are pushed up shallow and decide that casting for these fish would be much more effective. And as you're about to see, we made the right call. I just caught one right by the boat. Good one too, good walleye. Wow. He just bit right under the motor. He must have followed it up. Yeah, would you? He's barely hooked. He's gonna come off. Oh, nice. Here you go. We're gonna kind of change up tactics a little bit. We may go back to trolling, but we're gonna see if we can just drift some up because they're kind of concentrated in a certain area here. We've been trolling in generally seven to eight feet of water. And uh, when we hit those shallower spots, when it comes up six, seven feet, it's kind of where we're picking up some of the fish. There's a few around and maybe enough to just drift and cast. So we're gonna try that. That's a great fish. I think I might just keep throwing that crankbait. <laughs> I could probably do a jig. Yeah. Oh, right at the boat again. No oh, it's a good one too. <laughs> we were doing it wrong before. Maybe they were spooking by driving over. That didn't take long. I was only a couple casts in and nailed this really nice one. Just cast in a crank. Yeah. Yeah. There's one. <laughs> nice slowly. Go oh, guys, moved in a little closer here to this Willow Island point or whatever it is. And uh, they're hanging out in here. It stays fairly deep up against these trees. We're in six feet right now. 62, 63 degree water. There you go. Just using that gold and blue chrome Rapala. Casting out, retrieving it back. Pretty simple program. Go oh guys, Lake Pepin walleyes. It's just about right conditions. Um, low 60s. This will be a good bite all the way up to the 70s. Aggressive baits, fast retrieve crank baits. Probably get them with jigs too. Maybe lipless, I don't know, you name it. It probably takes pretty good pictures. Huh? Today I'm fishing with my Radcliffe Custom 7 foot 2 Aspire Series spinning rod. The Radcliffe rods are excellent for both pitching light crankbaits and pitching jigs. Check out Radcliffe Rods at RadcliffeRods.com. Oh. Yeah, where are you, Netman? Beautiful fish. Probably 18 incher. Coming pretty quickly now. As you can see, the wind's blowing pretty good. Apologize for any wind noise, but 
I think that's where the why the fish are here. The wind's pushing up against this shallow flat, and they're feeding. On, jeez, we are crushing them. <laughs> you just put that lure on, or? It's not very big, it's not oh, like yours. Okay. okay. Not very big. It's not a fat wrap. I'm trying to think of what it's called. Jesse. Now we're having fun. This one feels good. Oh, there's the big one. There's the big one. This is kind of what I was hoping for. I didn't expect it, but I was hoping to get on some fish like this. It's happening. It's a great walleye. That's what we came here for right there. That was fun. That's a good one. Another good fish. There we go. Great fish, probably sixteen, seventeen inch. -er. Keep coming on that uh, blue chrome. Jigs. I'm just starting to dabble in hair, hair jig tying. Another nice quality fish. That's a nice stocky fish. Looking good. Putting the weight back on after the spawn. Cracked the jig pretty good. What size weight is that? I think that's a 3 8. Oh, my <laughs> broke my rod. Including yours. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The hair jig continues to catch fish. Excellent. Excellent, yeah. Yep. Can't find them anywhere. <laughs> you just got to talk to me nicely and I'll make you one. There we go. Beautiful. Double up. Yeah, that'd be cool. Make the 
You want a net on that? He looks so decent. He's not skiing yeah. on the surface. Yeah, that, yeah. What did I look? You got a walleye. Oh baby. You got a big one, dude. <laughs> See that? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. On the liquid willow pad. Oh, you was know? it? Oh, oh my god, it's a giant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a giant. <laughs> Nice job, oh, man. Yeah. What a big. Look at that. Oh, that's an <laughs> awesome fish. He's got this 26 and a half inch full spawn female here. Out there with Angler X. He's uh, showing me a little good spot here. Like <laughs> yep, there she goes. Good shape. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> I don't, none of them are calibrated, so I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that one. This is a walleye. It's, it's, what, it's the right species. Yeah, yeah, Jesse, I'll take it now. It's a nice fish. It's not 26 and a half inches. 20? Yeah, come on. Oh, another great walleye. On Lake Pippin, they are definitely biting today. It's been a great day, getting a lot of you know quality fish, 15 to 20, and then Jesse hammering the giants. Get that guy back. They're fired up when you get them. There is one. Ooh, this one feels pretty good. This one is? <laughs> I, I hope it is, because that'd be a really nice fish. But I think he's bigger than 18. He's over 20. <laughs> Oh, he's barely gone. Here, let me grab him right out. Like that. Beautiful fish, man. They're just gorgeous looking fish. So cool. This went way better than I would have ever imagined. <laughs> Just a slouchy 16. <laughs> he ain't 21, but he's all a 16 now. That guy's that chrome crapola with the orange belly. That thing's been hot today. It's a great way to get these fish. You can cast and reel pretty quickly and cover a lot of water. These walleyes are not shy to go chase it down. I was just saying, I'm going to try this crank. <laughs> nice little bowl. Is that a crank? Yeah. That was on the liquid river can. Another really nice fish. Is it? That's the right guy. Yeah, net him for you. Yeah. He's pissed. <laughs> yeah, good one. Another rip and wrap. 
you hit it or you pick it up. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. We had an awesome day, caught a ton of fish. I don't know what we caught, sheephead, walleye, sauger, white bass. White bass. Is that it? That was probably pretty yeah. close. It was an awesome day. We were pitching cranks and jigs in these, these wind-blown flats, six to eight feet. Pretty fun bite. The wind is blowing. We got a little bit of a trip back to the boat landing, so that should be interesting, but shouldn't be a problem. Fun. Make sure you go check out Jesse's channel, Team Extreme Fishing. He has an awesome channel. Subscribe to his channel. If you love walleye fishing, you'll learn a ton. Yeah, thanks for taking me out, Lance. Yep. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Maybe learned something. And until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.